Hello and welcome. This is H with John, and this is a continuation of my series of development, programming, delivery, and tools. Today I will be looking at Android and the back end. Okay, let's get this started by looking real quick at the definition of front end. Now, front end uh, of your Android app is going to include everything the user experiences and interacts with. This is also called the client side. Now, let's move over to the back end. Now, the back end communicates with the front end and performs the business logic. Back end support adds the ability to provide push notifications, data storage, file storage, message queries, monitoring and configuration, and social interaction. For instance, if you were to create a store, the back end of this particular app would be you being able to organize data about your purchases, uh, data about your user profiles and products, and being able to push out weekly discount product reminders to your customers. Now, Android actually has, Android Studio actually has built in the feature uh, for the use of Google Cloud for back end support. MBAS, Mobile Backend as a Service, also known as Backend as a Service or BAS is a model for providing web app and mobile app developers with a way that you can link your application through the cloud uh, to storage and allow appies uh, to be exposed through the back end of your application which provide features uh, that will manage uh, certain aspects of your app. So let's take a look at that. Why use an MBAS? If you need back end support and a lot of apps are going to need it, it saves you the trouble of creating your own system. Creating your own system will slow down your application product building. And, and if you're looking into rapid prototyping, uh, then MBAS is just the way to go. There needs to be a long look at the financial side of doing it yourself as opposed to hiring out uh, to a vendor. Uh, if you're doing it yourself, you need to run a, a financial cost analysis on whether or not the cost is going to be higher than actually going out and getting a vendor to support you. You've got to look at the initial startup costs. Um, you've also got to calculate in additional management costs, different costs involved with the actual physical needs of the project for your backend support. So this is going to add a lot of extra stuff uh, that's ultimately going to subtract from your focus on your app. With an MBAS, you can scale quickly with your app to respond to a growing uh, user base. For instance, if you have an app that explodes on the market, um, is your home-built system going to be easy to expand quickly and efficiently? If you go with one of the, with a larger MBAS, all they have to do is hit a few keys and it's expanded. A good MBAS makes it easier to add other services to your app. Uh, if you decide later that you want to add such things as data storage, user authentication, some content delivery, back-end logic, and dashboards for analytics, a good MBAS will already have those available for you to use. MBASs will also offer off-the-shelf mobile SDKs and a higher level of data security uh, than a smaller individual uh, situation would be able to provide. Some of the things to consider when looking at an MBAS, you could put this on the con side if you wanted to, uh, version control may be an issue. If your MBAS updates their appy, uh, will it be compatible with your current system? MBAFs often have great security, but they're still a very large and attractive target for hackers, something you need to consider. You also need to think about you may be stuck with a single MBAS vendor unless you're willing to do some serious recoding to move to another MBAS and their new set of appies. If your app is meant to be a long-lasting app, then you should probably very seriously consider looking into buying your own Linux VPS, writing the back-end code, choosing a database, and then configuring it with URLs and all the things and trappings that come along with that, uh, it might be a viable option for you. But if your appy is not going to be around for, say, more than a year and a half, then possibly the MBAS might be a better decision for you. Down below, you'll find links to more information. Uh, you're not going to be surprised to find that Amazon AWS and Google Cloud Platform are two of the largest providers of these services. There's also other alternatives. I've included links to the open source avenues of the user grid and sky gear. Uh, those are just two options that you might consider. So there's a lot of information down there. Uh, feel free to look around and learn some more about MBAS and the options that are available to you and to your apps and what it could mean to your development process. So this has been H with John. I've been talking about backend support 
Uh, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you around.